Namaste, this is Aditya and welcome to Shankar Marketing Channel. In this video, I am going to talk about what are experience fragments and when to use them. This video is part of AEM authoring tutorials playlist, the link for which I leave it out in the description box. Please check it out if you are interested. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you are liking these videos and let's get started with the presentation. Okay, so what are experience fragments? Let's discuss on that. Okay, so experience fragment means like uh, it has two parts, right? One is the fragment part and another one is experience frag part, right? So what is a fragment? Okay, so it is uh, just a combination of multiple components. Okay, let's say if we have a text component and a carousel component, uh, right? So if you combine those two into one fragment or one module, then it is called as a fragment. So and on that fragment, you are adding an experience also. So maybe you have a, a carousal component, right? So which can be uh, slided or navigated through. Okay, so that is one experience. Or you might have one button which has a color, which has a design and which has a certain placement of the location. Like for example, you have a background image, like the banner image. And then on that you have a title and then you have a CTA button. So what are we talking about here? So we are talking about uh, not just what is the image, what is the title and what is the button, but we are also talking about how exactly that image is aligned uh, onto the page and uh, where exactly the title is located and where exactly the button is located, on which color the button is, on which size the button is. So all these experience related details are also we are able to save. Okay. so. If, if we are saving that experience part also as a fragment, which means that as a combination of multiple uh, components, then that is called as an experience fragment. Okay, so but why do we use these experience fragments? Okay, so we already have the page, right, on which we are adding all the components, uh, right? So that is already happening. So then why should, why do we need to use this experience fragment? Okay, so one area where we need the experience fragment is for the content reuse. Okay, so let's say we have a certain block of content. Let's say for example, contact us component. So now the contact us component has to appear on multiple pages, right? It might have to appear on the header, footer, and even on the contact us page, on the sales page, service page, right? So on multiple pages, the contact us button might have, contact us information might have to appear. So the contact information could be a phone number, address or some contact information, right? Email ID. So these contact information could appear at multiple places, right? So like what if uh, the contact information is changed? Let's say our phone number is changed. Then we'll have to, if it is added onto the page directly, this information of the contact, if it has to be added on the page directly, then we'll have to go to each and every page into multiple places and update it, right? So instead of that, if we have it as a one fragment, one experience fragment, then the contact us layout, the how, how it should appear, right? The look and feel of that contact us page, that also can be maintained. And also we can maintain the content also at one place. Like for example, if we just go to one fragment, like contact us fragment and update the phone number, then in all the pages where this experience fragment is referred, all those pages also will reflect that change. It is just like modularizing the content. Okay, instead of uh, having the same content repeatedly on multiple pages, we modularize it into one fragment so that if update is made on one fragment, then at every place that update will be reflected. So it is a centralized way of managing the content basically. So this is one use case to use the experience fragment. So another use case is multi-device content reuse. So it may not be that we are using the content uh, in multiple places. Uh, like for example, the contact us in the same website on multiple pages, we are using the contact us, right? So instead of that, if we have, let us suppose a promotional page or an event page where we have certain event happening and for that we are doing some promotional campaign. And that promotional event will be displayed on our email campaigns and on our mobile devices and also on our web page. So it has to be reused in multiple devices. So even in this case, 
we can create the experience fragment and then that experience fragment data can be either exported as a HTML which could be reused for example as part of the email campaigns or it could be exported as part of the JSON okay so this exporting part your developers will take care but once the developers has enabled this option for us then what happens we can just define the content then we can just define the experience fragment and that experience fragment can be exported onto any device based on the format that device accepts okay so even in this case we go for the experience fragments okay and the third case we go for the experience fragment is for the personalization so let us say we want to integrate our adobe experience fragment with adobe target and if you want to do some inbound marketing so what is inbound personalization right so if any of the of our user he is logging into our page let's say we have an e-commerce site and we sell some t-shirts okay and if a user is logging onto the page we want to customize or personalize the experience so in that case we can create one fragment for male let's say and one fragment for female so if, if a male user is logging in on the personalized uh, component we show all the list of the t-shirts relevant to males and we can create one more experience fragment which displays all the list of the products which are relevant to female right so based on which user has logged in we can use the adobe target to decide whether to show the male related fragment or female related fragment these rules can be defined in the adobe target but the experience fragments can be defined in aem and those experience fragments can be exported onto the target and in the target we can define the rules based on the user who has logged in which experience fragment it has to show so even in this case of personalization we go for experience fragments so these are the high level use cases in which we use the experience fragments so now let's see this content reuse example in detail okay so let's say i am managing uh, the uh, ram mandir ayodhya ram mandir website and in that website i have the contact information so this is the main office address and these are the operational hours okay so this is part of my contactors let's say okay so then what i can do is i can define this information in one experience fragment so that i can reuse it onto the multiple pages wherever it might be applicable okay so in this case i go for the experience fragment right let's say i want to put it put the contact information on the page header but on the page header i want to show only phone number and not other information and again here i want to show it on the page footer but here here i want to show the complete address okay and here uh, in multiple pages again i in the sales maybe i want to show the complete address and in the services i might want to show on the call, call center address and even in the faqs i want to show the call center address so like this uh, what i'm trying to say is though i have here the information about the main office address and temple op uh, operational timings i don't want to show all the information and in, on all the pages that is what is the point i am trying to highlight sometimes i want to show only phone number sometimes email sometimes only address sometimes complete thing right based on the page uh, the information i want to show differs right so what do i do in this in in such cases so if i just centralize uh, the entire information in one experience fragment then the same experience will be displayed on all the pages right so what is the solution for this so experience fragments has offered us what is called as variations so what we can do is we can just create one experience fragment and we can create multiple variations of it okay so one variation could be header contact us another variation could be footer contact us and another variation could be sales services or common contractors right so like this i can create multiple variations of contactors pages uh, to display the same contact information at multiple places so we are, we are going to see this use case and as a hands on okay and then there could be another case also right like for example the uh, ayodhya ram mandir information contact information i want to display in multiple countries 
and each country might have multiple languages right even in india we have multiple languages let's say if i want to translate this website onto multiple languages then what do i do so then i need to translate this contact us information also onto multiple languages right so in this case also language variations can be created so these are the cases in which uh, the experience fragment variations can be used so this is the theoretical part of what is the experience fragment we will cover the practical implementation of the experience fragment in our next video that's it for today jai hind